Okay, uh, here is the session. Cookie is basically on client side, and if you want to persist your uh, your variable uh, for longer period, or on, uh, I would say that in a secure uh, uh, purpose, for a secure purpose, or a number of uh, or the size of variables are more, then you should go for sessions. In session, what we basically do, we basically store our variables on server rather than client, rather than browser. So, uh, for each session variable, there is there is a reference to uh, our server, a temporary directory is created on server where the server is created, uh, session is created, session is saved. The session variables are saved. Basically, you can change this temporary directory for me or PHP INI. As I have already explained in your previous class, that there is a configuration file file in PHP I, PHP that is called php.ini. You can change. Set, there is a variable in php.ini that is session dot save path. With with changing this save path, you can simply change the path on the server where your session variable should be saved. Uh, apart from saving in uh, uh, I would say the files in your uh, uh, session uh, in your server, you can also save sessions in your database as well. Uh, in uh, for example, you are going you are working on a, sh a shared server or you are working on on a non secure uh, environment, then you should prefer database to save your servers. Uh, there is not the scope of uh, in the scope of this class how to save in your database that I will explain further if if it comes. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, discuss that how the session gets started uh, in the last class uh, in the last chapter. You have seen that cookies are created, but uh, we don't have to start anything uh, on our server or whatever. But as you know, uh, the sessions are uh, basically variables stored on the server, so they are stored on the large scale. So in that case, every time we save a session every time we access a session variable we have to start our session we basically start our session by a php function that is called session underscore start basically basically what this php uh, session underscore start does is basically start the session and uh, once our session is started we can access our session variables so like uh, like uh, post variables, get variables, cookies. We are having uh, dollar dollar underscore uh, uh, arrays to access the, these values. The same way we are having dollar underscore section session global variable that is basically used to access our session variables. Further, I am going to explain you that how session variables are created, how session gets started. So here you can see that. Uh, I have started a PHP tag, then I have mentioned session underscore start. So here my session gets started. For example, you can say uh, that you have switched on something and uh, now for example, uh, I would say uh, give an ex a real example like you are having a box, you have to put something in your box. So first of all, you what you will do, you will open the lid of that box, you will put your item in that box, then you will close your box. The same way session works, you first have to start your session, this simply means you have to open the lid, then you have to create your session variables, then you have to close your session. So further uh, here, uh, I will let you know the start of session, the close of session, I will uh, let you know in further slides. So here you can see that I have started my session, then I have uh, given values or I can, uh, I would say that I have defined my session variables like dollar underscore session username equal to this, dollar underscore session password equal to this. So if I go to some other page of this application by uh, using some link or directly through URL, now these two variables will be saved in session. They can be access, accessed on further pages. Basically, we use session for our login logout purpose. If you uh, if you are aware of means you might have done uh, means for every day uh, in every day task you might be using some login screens like you have to access your email address, you have to access your Facebook account, you have to access your log uh, LinkedIn account, you have to login. So in login, what you do you provide your username and password. So once you enter your username and password and you click on submit, what happens in the background? Basically, based on your your username and password, uh, 
the data goes to the database server and based on your if uh, username and password it get authenticated if your username and password entered is correct so uh, they get just get validated from data database that you have entered the correct values then when the controls comes back from the database to your your server your web server from your database server to your web server it basically validates that the user is authenticated yes the right user has logged in so in that case what we do we simply create a session for that particular user so we this is the real life real life application real life example where sessions are basically used so once you have entered username and password and clicked on submit and if information is correct you will get on your index page or your email page so for the next uh, period until your browser is open you can access any email any of your email you can write new emails you can delete any email you for every action you don't have to log in again and again so this is basically done through session that your session is maintained your session is created so until you log out from your uh, email account or you close your browser you will be able to access that particular uh, index page or particular home page or particular email page until uh, you have manually logged out or you have closed the browser so this is how the sessions come into picture now on next page I will let you know assigning session variables so in the even in the last page you have seen that I have assigned session variables here you can see dollar uh, underscore star in last page you have seen that I have assigned the session variables here I am using those session variables by simply dollar underscore session username so I will get this dollar underscore session username on each and every page of the of a particular application until uh, we, until and unless I have unset this particular value there is a function in PHP that is called unset by using unset I can unset the value of a particular variable either it's a session variable or it's a local variable or it's a global variable I can unset the value so until I unset the value I can use this dollar underscore session variable name on each and every page of that application because it is stored in sessions so the same way you can print username and password on each and every page using the session variable for that particular session now I will explain you uh, have created the se session now to destroy the session the same way I have explained you that to to put something in your box you first have to open the lid you have to put the uh, put your uh, entity or whatever you want to put into your box then you have to close the box the same way we start the session we put our values and we destroy the session so here are two functions basically in sessions one is session underscore destroy to destroy the session and unset is basically not to destroy the session it is basically to destroy a particular session variable it will not destroy the complete session it will basically unset the value or destroy a particular session variable so if I simply write session underscore destroy so if you want to use a session again so again you have to use session underscore start to access the session so session underscore start is to start the session and session underscore destroy is to destroy the session now here is a unset function unset I have already explained that it simply unsets the value of a particular session variable it never destroys a session or the complete session it basically unsets the value of a particular variable that is assigned between the braces of these functions so here you can see unset I have said unset the value of a dollar underscore session username and password so now if you will try to access this dollar underscore session username you will not be able to access because they are unset you will get the blank values you will not get any values for these variables so now turning on session now there are two basic two basically two ways of turning on a, on a session one manual way I have already explained that you can use session underscore start so this session underscore start basically starts your session if 
you don't want to start your session every time with session underscore start, you can, there is a, again, I have explained to you about PHP INI, that is a configuration file in PHP. You can simply, uh, there, is a, there is a variable, there is a setting in PHP INI, that is session dot auto start. You know, it's, it's default value is basically zero. Once you assign value, uh, this a variable value one, so you don't have to uh, start session on each and every page again and again using the session underscore start function. Uh, it will be automatically continued over the next pages. But if we set this value to zero, so in order to continue your session on each and every page, you have to write down session underscore start. So this is the way to turning our auto, auto session simply means session will be started automatically. You don't have to uh, worry about starting the session on each and every page. So setting the value of session dot auto start in PHP to one, we can make our session auto session. Otherwise, it will be manual session. You have to start session manually on each and every page. Now, we are uh, there is another thing of modifying a session. Now, modify simply means to modify value of a particular session variable. Here you can see that uh, I have given uh, in last page. I have just unset the value of my session variable. Here again, I can set the value of my session variable. Same session variable I can set. I can do dollar underscore session username equal to email address or username whatever uh, you can see in real life examples, real life, real life applications that these days user day, usernames are not only the strings. In most of the cases, they can be email address as well. For example, you can see uh, for your uh, job sites if you have gone to job portals normally our usernames are our email addresses itself you can keep separate usernames separate email address or the email can act as username itself uh, I've seen a lot of uh, sites lot of examples where you basically when you register you basically get an option that you want to make your email address as uh, username or you want to keep a separate name separate username so both way can work that basically depends or varies from application to application so here is the stuff of how the session gets created how the session gets started how the session variables are created how the session variables are deleted like using the unset and how the session variables are modified so this is the basic stuff of sessions here uh, there is a variation uh, means one thing that uh, I will let you know regarding the session that whenever a session is created uh, although the session variables are stored on the server but for every session there is a cookie stored on your local server for every session that cookie is basically to recognize a particular session because if there are 10 sessions going on a particular system then how you you will recognize that particular those particular or how you will differentiate those sessions on your system is the cookie uh, uh, for every session a cookie is saved a cookie is created so uh, that cookie method is by default but in some cases we don't want to use cookies for our session uh, recognition so in that case what we can do uh, rather than saving that cookie on our system we can simply because e what each cookie saves each cookie is having a session ID each session is created with a session ID uh, for example uh, every person is having his name a unique name the same way every session is having a unique session ID so this cookie cookie is basically used to store that session session ID now if I don't want to save my session ID into cookie. I don't want to use cookie or I have disabled cookie. In cookie is uh, why cookies are not preferred, why sessions are preferred over cookie is that in your browser there is a setting. If you, you can see in your Mozilla browser as well, there is in tools, you can, you can just in tools, options, you can simply disable cookies. Once you have disabled cookies in your browser, then cookie will not be used in that particular browser. So, so, but this is not the case with sessions. But in some cases, if cookies are disabled on your browser and you have created some session, so as 
session IDs are create, are used in in cookies. So in that case, you will not be able to access your session because cookies are disabled. So what we can do in that case that we can save our cookies in either uh, on the server itself or we can append our session cookies in the URL. If cook, uh, session IDs are appended to your URL on, for a particular session, then there is no need to create cookie even in this case. If cookies are disabled on browser, it will not affect your session because session, I, uh, session IDs are basically appended to your user, uh, your uh, URL itself. So that will make your session uh, to be used on any system where there are cookie enabled or cookies are not enabled. So this is uh, a variation of session that can be used without cookies.